Hey y'all, it's Dee Dee. I'm a fiber enthusiast, uh, fiber artist who uh, loves to make knit and crochet items. Uh, I know my intro changes like every time I do a video. <laughs> I'll get it down pat one day. Maybe, maybe not. Um, anyway, today we're doing an unboxing of the Premier Yarn. Um, I think they were called Value Grab Bags. Um, grab Bags for $5, basically, um, that I ordered this Monday. And let me tell you, I'm surprised they came in this quick. Thank you, Premier Yarns. Uh, I haven't ordered them recently, so I don't know if this is on par. Um, but... Good job on shipping it out really quick. I was really surprised uh, and grateful. Um, we're going to get into that too. Um, I did go to Books A Million over the weekend too. Um, I like to browse their magazine sections. Um, they have some from the UK that have little little special gifts in them. Um, I got an issue. Which issue is this one? Of uh, Simply Crochet. I already have a subscription for Crochet Nail, the digital version. But sometimes I'll go in and look and see if they have that one or Simply Crochet. Um, so Simply Crochet, this, I'm trying to see what month it was. I want to say it was around February. Uh, because there's a cute pattern for a love letter pillow, which is very gorgeous. Um, I got this one because there's like a lot of colorful patterns that look really cute. Um, but it also came with an additional pattern for these two bags. And the bag bottom. That was kind of really why I wanted to get this magazine. That's that's one of the motivating you know things for me. It's 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 cute knickknacks in it. It's cute knickknacks. Um, I think I'm gonna make the sh the black and white one. It's very cute. Um, there's so many cool patterns in this one. Um, I think for us over here in the U.S. in the United States, it's like uh, twenty dollars. Over in the U.K., it's roughly um eight point ninety nine um about nine pounds i think that's pounds could be euros i apologize if i got that wrong but um anyway i got that magazine from books a million with the cutesy gift as well but we're here for the unboxing i know i know we're here for the unboxing i'm totally here for it <laughs> now when they had these online they had a few different options to choose from i want to say they had like chenille yarns just open the box um they also had, the one I got was the worsted weight. They had one for um, DK weight. And I'm trying to think what else. Um, and then they had like a, um, the chenille I mentioned before was like a solid color. They also had a variegated color. Okay, so I ordered three. And I ordered the um, worsted weight mystery uh, bags. So I got... And these look a little familiar. These are basically mill end bags, like when the mill that makes the yarn, um, when they have a batch that has ended and they're about to transition into a new batch, sometimes they'll still be yarn. So it may be slightly off color, and I'm cool with that. But look at this green, y'all. I'm going to open one of these up. But I got this one, got this one, and I got this one. So I got three of them. Um, they had white as well. So, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember if it said exactly what brand of yarn this was. Um, totally fine with that. Um, it does say that each of the bags is 14 ounces, which is just shy of a pound. Um, let's see, 400 grams. Um, the one I got is acrylic. It's 100% acrylic. It says hand wash, dry flat. I'm fine with that. Um, I may throw it in the wash. Sometimes I'll do that, like on a lighter setting. I don't play by the rules when it comes to, <laughs> to washing the yarn all the time. Sometimes it does come back to bite me in the butt. But I might do like a simple swatch and wash test just to see. But I'm going to open one of these bags so we can kind of see how it looks. I think this color was called Shamrock on their website. Now, the sale for these has ended. But do check back. Um, Premier Yarns really does um, a lot of sales. Um... Where, whether it be, you know, mill-in bags like this, or I think they call them value bags. Um, just open these with all the scissors. Okay. So, they come in little teeny, teeny skeins. Skeins. Um, they're very cute. Um, I would have rathered if it was like all in one, like a big old skein. But I can work with this. I just don't like weaving in ends. That's my, you know, pet peeve. But it's like a very soft, um, 
yarn. Let's see. It looks like in each of these bags, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least eleven, if I'm counting correctly, and I might not be. Um, at least eleven of these little um tiny skeins, and it looks like the same for all of the other bags as well. So, so yeah, like like I said, I'm not really mad at this one. Don't know if it has an exact name, but I did get a large enough quantity. So if I wanted to make like a garment or a blanket or something or just really anything, <laughs> um, I love green yarn, so that's why I was really interested in purchasing these and for five dollars a bag like i said i the, the whole box shipping and all was like twenty dollars and 99 cents and it's filled with these gorgeous green yarns gorgeous green yarns um it does say worsted I'm, I'm seeing it looks like it's between that and it could also be almost a bulky i'd probably still treat it as a worsted um worsted yarn in my opinion but I don't have an exact plan, and I do that a lot when I order yarn, not going to lie. Um, I don't have an exact plan for what I'm going to be making with this, um, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be something, something cute. It'll either be like a blanket, or it might be like a, um, a sweater or something. It's a very, very soft yarn. I can't, <laughs> can't say enough about how soft it is, um. The only thing, like I said, I'd, I'd wish they were less skeins. Um, not not less yarn. I don't wish it was less yarn. No. I just wish that the skeins were like larger skeins instead of a bunch of tiny skeins. Because weaving in the ends is not great. Um, I will say, if I'm working on garments, I do usually um, work over the ends instead of weaving them in. It makes it so much easier. Um, yeah. Well, I think I'm going to end the video on that note. Um, thank y'all for watching, and I hope y'all have a good day. Um, I do want to mention, like I said, keep checking the Premier Yarns just to see if they have um, special deals and stuff. This was sent in an email to me uh, Monday morning on the 25th. I think it was the 25th. Um, and it said the sale was going on. They had the sale going through the 27th, so sometimes these deals are really fast um, with the value yarns, but keep checking. I would also check your um, your um, local yarn stores, not local yarn stores, local big chain yarn stores, because um, I've seen um, with labeling like this, and put it back, I know y'all saw it, <laughs> but with the Fashion Plus bagging, I don't know where the company is that they do this from. It's like a mill in assortment, but I have seen this at um, Joann's, like not this exact one, um, but where they have, they don't have the, the packaging on the yarn, they don't, um, but they have like the yarn and typically they've been $5. Um, I've, I've also seen them at Dollar Tree. Lately, my Dollar Tree, it's kind of rare to see that, but I would still check in your Dollar Tree now that they have the plus section. Um, where it's more than a dollar and 25 cents. Uh, sometimes they have stuff like this. And you can get it um, really good deals. Now, I will say you might need to kind of look at it sometimes. Because there was a million bag I got one time. Where the reason that it was discounted might have been nothing to do with it being mill ends. But more so, glue was all over them skeins when they were attaching the, um, the bands. You know how the yarn labels they glue onto each other. Um, that one had a lot of glue. So, um, with that being said, check locally your yarn stores and, um, check also on the websites and subscribe to their email list too. <laughs> but now I'm officially ending this video. Thank y'all for watching. Um, if you like to see more of this content, like and subscribe, um, and have a good day. Thank you.